Hi everyone, this is Crystal. I just want to give you a quick demo of how the app works should you sign up for the accountability program. So I'll start by logging a workout and I'll click the drop down arrow next to workout, choose the workout that I'm working for the day. Um, I only had one in this list because it's a demo, but typically you would have four, sometimes five. I'll start my session and then I want to go over the icons that you'll see at the top that are important. The very first one I want to discuss is the top where you see the black sheet of paper with the red circle. That means that I've left a note that's for the entire workout. So I'm telling my clients that between each set or after each set, I want them to do 15 calf raises as active rest just to keep moving. Next to the workouts, you'll see an orange sheet of paper with a red dot if there's a note for that specific workout. And for this one, well, I'm sorry, for that exercise. And for this exercise, I want them to make sure that they know that the reps that are listed are for each side and not for total so that they're not cheating themselves. The icon next to it, and I'm actually going to scroll down to deadlift with upright row just because there's information there. But when you see the clock with the circle around it, that means that it's showing you your history for that specific exercise. So if you've done it before in a previous workout, you can see how much you've progressed. Um, hopefully you've progressed and see what reps you've uh, performed, what weight you use so that you can track it. The icon next to it allows you to create supersets. I like supersets. So if you have a specific setup in your gym and you want it to be able to do the single leg bridge with the renegade row, you can do that by uh, creating your own superset. And the last icon next to it is the arrow one that allows you to swap out exercises. Say for instance, you may not have the ability to perform that exercise because you may not have the weight or you may not have the machine available. You can search for the exercise that you actually did and then click set exercise to add it and you see that it has now been swapped out. Now, the last thing I want to show you in here, well, not the last thing, was something very important and one of the highlights. Say, for instance, you have no idea what a weighted snow angel is. All you do is click on the name of the exercise. You will see a description and also the ability to watch a sample video. Another thing that's been added to the app that I really like is at the bottom, you'll see that there is a timer in the bottom right corner where it allows you to set a timer for exercises or even for your rest period. Um, there are some exercises that are, especially for our HIT, I will provide how much, how long I want you to perform an exercise or how long I want your active rest to be. So if you see, for instance, in this renegade row, it says to rest 30 seconds between each set, you can set your timer to do so. After you've completed your workout, you hit the finish workout button and it'll say, great, you finish. Are you sure? You click finish workout and it is processing and then it will be saved. The next thing I want to show you quickly is logging your nutrition. Hopefully you're going to eat what's been provided for you as a template, but you should not eat the same thing every day. So I'll show you how to log what's listed and also how to switch things out. So say for instance here, um, I've already logged my breakfast. That's why you don't see the orange uh, plus marks, but say I'm eating lunch now and I did have the chicken. So I just hit the uh, plus button. I had the cucumber, but say I did not have the carrots. So I'll click on carrots and then I'll hit the trash can in the top left corner to delete that from there. And say for instance, I added something different. All I have to do is click add food drink and I actually like uh, edamame. So I will click on edamame and it'll ask me how much. Uh, my serving size right now is a quarter cup and that's what we have listed. Click the check mark and then it adds it. One great thing about this program and this app is that at the very bottom it will allow you to view your macros. So I set the macros that I want you to um, intake for each day. So it's your calories, your fat, your protein 
and your carbs. So when I click on view macros, I can see that I've in, uh, had 689 calories for the day. And after I'm done, I can click save nutrition log and that should be done after each meal because I can come back in and log multiple times throughout the day. The last thing that I want to show you is the shopping list. The shopping list is created based on what your set nutrition plan is for that uh, cycle. So it'll give you a note that says, hey, these quantities are just for your daily amounts. So if you're shopping for the week, be sure to multiply by it. Okay.